In this video, based off of a commenter and me playing Batman the Telltale series, here's how to be Catwoman in real life. Before I begin, if you enjoy this type of content, make sure to like and subscribe, watch me stream the Telltale series, usually Tuesdays to Thursdays, 12.30 to 2.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and join my Discord server, link down below in the description for updates and to add suggestions for new videos. Catwoman is an interesting villain slash anti-hero, as while she has no powers, her physical ability is way beyond any regular human being, matching up with Olympians in terms of physical skills. To progress towards this, you want to start with some general strength training and conditioning. I have made videos on this for more specifics, but basically, you'd want to focus on strength with low reps at high weights with compound movements. Exercises such as the bench press, squat, deadlift, and overhead press are some great options. And then adding to that would be accessory training, hitting aspects that may be missing, or to boost the compound movements. And for conditioning, any form of cardio would be suitable, whether it's running or swimming, or bag work, etc. The conditioning is to ensure you're able to keep up, whether you're hypothetically robbing a bank or something else, or fighting Batman, or whatever physical strains you encounter. Now for Catwoman specific skills, the first is going to be acrobatics. And in acrobatics, flexibility is an important aspect, allowing the performer to get into correct positions. Of course, it isn't necessary to get a super high level. As for realistic benefits, light stretching can help with tight hips and hamstrings, which are very common for sedentary people that sit a lot. Stretching can also be a nice little boost of energy, with it helping circulation. And is it the only exercise that helps boost circulation? Obviously not, but it's easy to do, not very taxing, so you can do it as soon as you get up for 5-10 to 10 minutes. As for what stretches work, there's a plethora of them, but some examples would be the split squat, touching your toes, the couch stretch, etc. You should check out the YouTube channel, Movement by David, who's got some great videos and free courses hitting different parts of your body. The flexibility, by the way, as shown by the guy moving by David, may also help you in a fight where if you get caught in a heel lock or an arm bar, you may be able to suffer through it because you're just so flexible that it doesn't hurt as much or not at all. But you have to train for that. The second skill is focusing on their amazing upper body strength. And while they also do complex flips and tricks, it's usually unnecessary unless you want to use a flip to propel yourself a little further as explained by Jackie Chan on the Steve Harvey show, where he says if the guy does a triple somersault, he'll land, but if it's only a single, he'll fail, and he was right. However, in fights, doing flips and cartwheels are pretty dangerous, even though Catwoman does them. So again, the focus is going to be on pulling yourself upwards using your upper body, and the first starting point is with pull-ups. Now, if you can't do pull-ups, because it is a hard skill, here are some of the potential tips that can help you in your journey. The first is your grip might be too weak, causing your hands to give out first before the rest of your body. The exercises from before, like the deadlift, along with RDLs and barbell rows, will help with your grip strength. Forearm grippers are also a great one and easy to carry around, where you just squeeze and hold for a good amount of time to be like an isometric exercise. Another issue might be that you're just too heavy, and so losing some weight could also assist you. And maybe you have a weak back, so doing back exercises, again like the deadlift and shit, but also lat pull downs, which really mimic the movement, negative pull ups, where you jump up and perform the eccentric, and using bands to lessen the amount of weight that you have to actually move as the band is pulling you upwards. Along with this, it's also useful to do dips if you want to progress to a muscle up. And just in general, it's nice to also push yourself up with just your upper body. The third is parkour, which would allow you, like Catwoman, to be able to get from point A to point B as fast as possible. There are many great videos on the specifics, but here are some key skills to learn. Number one, rolls, allowing you to minimize any potential injuries from a fall at a certain height. Another would be learning to vault, to get over a blockade of sorts. There's a couple of different types, including a safety one, speed, kong, side, etc. 
Also, being able to balance and jump onto a bar is also useful. Next is the use of her tools. The first is her claws, which have a couple of different uses. The first is the ability to climb buildings or hang from ceilings like in the Arkham games. Now the claws are not real obviously, with the closest one I could find being the J-Laser video on the panther claws from Black Panther, but I doubt it would hold a person's body weight. But the skill itself is very useful because it shows that the person doing it, Catwoman in this case, has a really strong grip being able to pull herself up like that with just her fingers. To train this, besides the ones I've already given you on grip strength, would be rock climbing to best imitate the movements. So go to your local rock climbing gym if available, or try it outside, of course, with your safety being the most important thing to consider. Also, adding on to this would be hangboards, used to strengthen your fingers which you can put up in your home and train. The next is the use of her claws in fighting, where the claws act like real animal claws. She is a master martial artist, according to Wiki Fandom. As such, the video, What Martial Arts Would Batman Use, is a great one to look at to see which ones are most plausible. But in addition to that, you want to use those claws, or at least the claw like movements, into your martial arts. There is a martial art called Tiger Style Kung Fu that uses the hands in a claw like position. I don't know about its effectiveness though but there are some benefits to incorporating the style. For one, having an open hand strike to the head when you're not wearing gloves is much safer because you're using the heel of your palm as opposed to the small bones in your knuckles which can be more easily broken. Also while not allowed in the UFC, eye pokes have been shown to be very effective even in those fights. And of course there is a Nat Geo clip of a practitioner performing on a dummy, the tiger style kung fu and is able to rip the trachea out of said dummy. While that's a crazy thing to do to a person, it does indicate that they have a very strong grip. And while they do use like finger hardening techniques, I do assume the bigger aspect was the fact that the person has such strong grip, they're able to grasp and rip out the trachea. As for using this in real life, it gives you the ability to hold on to people better for like throws or maneuvering. As such, I would say, in my opinion, it's better to just incorporate this into your foundation of mixed martial arts. The other is used for stealing things like cutting through glass, which makes me assume that it's probably made of diamond and she would have free access to them because she steals diamonds, among other stuff. But trying to cut glass like that is kind of ridiculous and honestly a waste of time, at least with the claws. The second weapon is her whip, which has also multifunctional uses. The first is as a weapon, where it's a non-lethal one that can be used to cause gashes and cuts and really painful lacerations on any enemies. Of course, she does require a good amount of space, though she can modify the grip position for a shorter whip. And it's pretty dangerous because the crack you hear is I believe the tip breaking the sound barrier. So that shit's gonna fucking hurt. The other use is kind of like a grappling gun like Batman's. And honestly more realistic, where she's able to latch on to like a sturdy object and it is possible, though I believe with some practice, for the whip to hit something and wrap around itself and tighten up, allowing it to hold a good amount of body weight, assuming also the material of the whip is strong enough to hold you. And if both criteria are met, you should be able to technically swing and climb, though in both cases, Grip strength is going to be a big factor, which is why I keep stressing its importance. Though of course, if you were to try this, hypothetically speaking, please make sure that you're as careful as possible because it's super dangerous. Next is working on her stealth. To hypothetically steal stuff, which again, I am in no way encouraging, but I have made videos on how to be stealthy like Batman and how to be a ninja in real life, which you should check out for more details. Next is the ability to pull off heists, which again, Illegal, don't do it, but I have made a video on that if you want specifics as some of the concepts may be useful in your real life, like the ability to plan, the ability to adapt, the ability to look for issues, problem solving, etc. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. Check out my live streams, usually Tuesdays to Thursdays, 12.30 p.m. to 2.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and join my Discord server for updates 
and to add any other video suggestions you want. Link down below in the description.